Hi, my name is Pastor Matthew Zomono, and today I want to share God's word with you from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 31. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? Now, the same thing happens to us today. You see, every time aspiration comes to us or a passion is born, it comes with a lot of possibilities. It comes with a lot of excitement because of the profit that you're guaranteed by looking at that idea from within you as you draw it out, as you write it out. Just the same way when two folks come into marriage, there's excitement everywhere. And along the line comes challenges. Just like in the idea, challenges are born financial requirements, some limitations comes in. You might have set up right in the right location and everything seemed right, but you can't just tell what is going on and suddenly the room to begin to lose confidence in that which you once believed in comes in. Now, what did Jesus say to Peter? Peter came right on the sea, walking on the same sea where there was a storm. But the moment he began to observe the storm, the Bible said he sank. And until he cried out to Jesus and Jesus reached out to him and said, why did you doubt? Now observe Jesus didn't say the storm was responsible for his sinking. Jesus said his doubting was responsible for his sinking. The same way today. It doesn't matter the challenges that are around your dreams. It doesn't matter the challenges around your home, around your health, around your finances. The important thing is this. Don't change the state of your mind because doubt is a function of the mind just like faith is a function of the mind so you don't give room to that doubt you don't give room to changing your opinion changing your approach losing your passion because of what the environment seems to be suggesting to you you've got to put in more faith and trust that there is grace at work in you because you see when god is involved in your case it doesn't matter what's around you the bible says if god be for us who can be against us surely nothing not even the circumstance, not the government of any society, not the challenges around can be against you if God is for you. So have that in focus today as you face these activities that God is for you and you cannot fail. Wherever you are right now, before I pray with you and bless you, you've not made Jesus the Lord of your life, I want you to say this word with me. Dear Father, I receive your forgiveness. I receive eternal life which you give. I confess Jesus as Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Wherever you are right now, I want to pray for you. I declare that today is blessed for you. I declare you're going out and your coming in is blessed. Today your vision is claimed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Infirmities are taken away from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Weakness of vision is perfected right now. I declare that you have a sound mind and a bold spirit and you're not a quitter in the name of Jesus Christ. Today will turn out well for you and you're going to have a blessed full day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I'd like to know what today's broadcast has done for you. I want you to take advantage of our comment session and leave a comment. And let us know what this program has done in your life. Till I come, you will save time tomorrow. This is Pastor Man is saying, keep living in the miraculous. Shalom.